In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to create and copy a line segment. First, we will create the line segment to be copied. Start by selecting the Segment Between Two Points tool from the Line toolbar. Move the cursor onto the drawing pad and click the mouse. This creates point A and attaches a line segment to the cursor. Move the cursor to a different location on the drawing pad and click again. This places the second endpoint, B, and creates line segment AB, which is automatically labeled as lowercase a. Now we will construct CD, the copy of line segment AB. To create point C, select the New Point tool from the Point toolbar and move the cursor onto the drawing pad, anywhere not on line segment AB, and click. To create point D, select the Compass tool from the Circle toolbar. Since CD will have the same length as AB, click the mouse on point B and then on point A. Notice that a circle appears with its center at A, the location of the mouse cursor, with a radius equal to the length of AB. Move the cursor to point C and click the mouse. The circle is placed at point C and is labeled as lowercase c. Use the New Point tool to click anywhere on the circumference of Circle C. We know that the circumference has been selected because the circle is highlighted and the cursor changes to a pointer. Clicking on the circumference of the circle will place point D. Note that point D is a slightly different color than the other points. I will explain shortly why this is important. Use the Segment Between Two Points tool to create a line segment between points C and D. Since CD is a radius of a circle with radius length AB, CD must have the same length as AB. Hence we have constructed CD as a copy of AB. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, we can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction. Select the Move tool from the toolbar and click and hold down the mouse button on point D. Move the cursor around the circumference of the circle. Notice that point D moves around the circle. This is why point D is a different color than the other points. It can only move along the circumference of circle C. This shows that the line segment CD we originally drew is not unique. A line segment from point C to any point on the circle will have the same length as line segment AB. We can also use the Move tool with points A and B. When moving points A and B, we are changing the length of line segment AB and therefore changing the radius of circle C. Hence the length of the copy, CD, adjusts accordingly to match the length of AB.